Hello peoples, welcome back to another Pet Battle World Quest video. Here's Greg doing his, well, whatever Greg does. And here's the tournament announcer, and here's our opponent, Amalia, and her three corgis. Stumpers, Lil Sizzle, and Foof. Let's see, I, she hasn't actually showed up for a long time, and I've been waiting to fill my, you know, video recordings with new tamers. So this is the team I had saved for her, Cogblade Raptor, Mud Jumper, and Blue Clockwork Rocket Bot. And as you can guess, the machines are good against beasts, obviously. I, I use them quite a lot. And Mud Jumper for Lil Sizzle here. He's actually an elemental, much like the Molten Corgi. Molten Corgi, there it is. And I've got Bubble, I think, for the, what is it, Puppies of the Flame ability? Yes. Anyways, let's see if I can jump right in and re-familiarize myself with how this is supposed to work. First up is Foof. Oh, and by the way, they all have like dog-themed abilities. Buried Treasure, Dreadful Breath, Howl, Cute Face, Super Bark, Tongue Lash, Bark, Inferno Herding, and Puppies of the Flame. So it's very puppy and dog theme-esque. Okay, well, since Cogblade, Cogblade Raptor is up first, well, I'm just going to follow through with the exact same thing I do every time. Exposed Wounds and Batter. Exposed Wounds adds extra damage to each hit I deal, and Batter deals two to three hits since I go first and I'm such, I've got such a high speed rating of 341. Amalia's pets have 260, 325 on Stumpers, yikes, and 260 on Little Sizzle. Let's see, Foof is probably going to use Dreadful Bresh? Dread Bresh. Dreadful Breath, I think that's what I remember him doing. Well, let's just start our regular uh, attack pattern, see what happens. That's Howl. And now he's going to use Dreadful Breath, probably. Buried Treasure is a heal that he can use on himself. So Dreadful Breath deals damage to your frontline pet and half as much damage to your backline pets. Might uh, put you at a bit of a disadvantage later on if you let it continue for too long. And Foof goes down pretty easy, despite his 1700 health pool. That's kind of high. Alright, next up is Stumpers. He's got Cute Face, Super Bark, and Tongue Lash. Let me see what these do. Cute Face increases his dodge chance by 25%. Uh, not too dangerous. It's sort of like the, what is it, the Thistle Leaf Bully in Valtara. Super Bark deals high damage, but it cannot reduce the, uh, the enemy's health below one health so it's kind of good to use as the enemy has high health which is me I'm his enemy and he uses tongue lash one to two times per hit or an additional time sort of like Cogblade Raptor's batter well not much else I can do Cogblade Raptor's only strategy is this exposed wounds and batter there it is dodge so now he may be able to dodge my attacks but probably not. It's only 25%, 1 in 4 chance that I'll miss. And there's Stumpers. I've still got all three pets up, and Cogblade Raptor has not even activated his mechanical passive. Okay, Lil Sizzle is kind of a problem because he's got Puppies of the Flame. Let's see what he does first. Yeah, Puppies of the Flame. So, he summons six little puppies. And at the end of each turn, two of them will, I guess, explode on your pet. And for the duration of this, you can't damage or hit Little Sizzle at all with anything. So I might as well just pass and wait. I did select Mud Jumper, and I chose the Bubble ability because this can block two attacks from these Puppies of the Flame. But uh, you know they hit six times in total, so you only really avoid two puppies. But hey, uh, any bit helps. All right, now that now that that's done, Cogblade Raptor is still up thanks to the passive, and maybe I can get another hit or two in with Batter. Doesn't deal as much damage against elemental pets, but hey, it's something. And I have two pets almost at full health. Now, oh look at that. Blue Clockwork Rocket Bot was switched out. Not thanks to me, it was Inferno Herding. 
Deals damage and forces the opponent's lowest health pet to swap into battle. That was Blue Clockwork Rocket Bot. I think I'm going to just switch out before his puppies of the flame comes off cooldown, but I don't think that's really possible. Eight rounds is a long time. Okay, that was Super Bark. Deals damage reduces the damage of my next attack. I think all I really need to do is just cast Water Jet until he's dead. Yeah. Oh, that's Inferno hurting again. But, yeah, it's fine. He's almost dead, I got two pets up. This game is mine. Uh, maybe there's a mechanical with aquatic ability that you can use, or maybe you can keep track of Lil Sizzle's Inferno Herding. Just to be aware that there's a switch coming up, and you can maybe switch in, well, the pet you don't want to use. For example, I could switch in Clockwork Rocketbot, and his Inferno Herding would bring up Mud Jumper. I would attack with Mud Jumper until Inferno Herding is back up again. Switch in Clockwork Rocketbot to get hit by it again, and you know, always have Mud Jumper up and not really be at a disadvantage. I think that's it. Basic beast pets, mechanicals usually take them out pretty well. Uh, the dodge, cute face, is not really anything to worry about. I guess Little Sizzle is the, really the only thing that'll mess you up, if anything. Well, this has been Amalia Pet Battle World Quests. If you like this video, if you like corgis, leave a like, and if you want to follow along with this series or anything else on my channel, feel free to subscribe. It helps me out a whole lot. Now, until uh, the next one, I may only have one or two left to record. I have Zorvask, the uh, Satyr, and Valshara, maybe some more, it depends if any show up. Okay, till the next one, be swell, stay well, and farewell.